Hey guys, Matthew Lippard here again. I'm back with another video. This one is, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not real sure what I'm going to do in this one. We're going to try to figure this out. But somebody uh, somebody tried to, I don't know whether they tried to break into the truck or whether they're going to try and steal the truck or anyway, somebody tried to do something and, uh, and they were either trying to steal the truck or just trying to steal the radio. But anyway, they broke something. I can't get the door open from the inside or the out. So I'm going to try to figure out how to get into this thing. And uh, so we'll get started on this thing. But go ahead and hit that uh, like button. Smash that subscribe button, will you? Hit that bell icon. That way, every time I post new content, you'll be notified. Uh, if you know anybody that has a 2007 in that area, uh, GMC, Sierra, or uh, Chevy truck, uh, it's going to be pretty much the same. But I'm going to turn around, turn this camera around. I'm going to see what we can do and see what we can see if we can get that door open and then we can get the inside of the door off and see what they broke okay here's this 2007 gmc it's a driver's side door this thing is all messed up they just punched the lock completely out so it won't do nothing here come inside of it and uh right down there's a handle won't do nothing there either i can't do anything with it so I'm going to try to get down in here. I'm going to try to spread this open a little bit and see if I can get down there and, and jimmy that latch. But uh, let me go ahead and get some stuff together and we'll get started. Okay, I've got this lockout kit. It has uh, all kinds of little things right here. You see, uh, and one of them is this little balloon. So I stuck this little balloon down in there. I put it on the inside of the glass. And I got into that with these things like this. Don't use a screwdriver or something like that. I end up breaking the glass. I use all these plastic things. So I'm not breaking nothing. And now I'm going to see if I can get down in there to see something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see anything with the phone camera or not. You can't see much. No, I can't see much in there. I'm going to try to get on in there and, and dig around and see if I can uh, see if I can clip on something, unlock that thing. Okay, I got it open. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you everything, but what I did was I took this thing here. Let me see if I can get it out now. This is how long it is. It's about it's about two feet tall. Okay, I went over to the other side. I looked at the mechanism. The latching mechanism is right about here, so I made sure I had plenty of the uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, the unlock mechanism. And I looked down into the door through here with a light, and I could see the locking mechanism. So I took this thing, I took this thing down here on the other side of the balloon, went down at an angle, and I, I was able to get in there and just lift up on it and then pull on the door handle at the same time i was able to get it open now i need to pull the door apart and see what they broke first thing i did was took this little piece here off it would just come off of here by the door handle and it just pops off just you know stick one of those little plastic body tools down there and uh comes off and then just have to wiggle it around until it comes off of there like that now I see I've got one screw here. That's a Torx head. And uh, see what else we got down here. I don't see nothing else. It might just be. It might just be uh, uh, those little pegs. So let me see what I can find, and if I find anything else, I'll let you know. Okay, that was a T20 right here Torx head and let me get down under here right there there's a hole that took uh let me see what size was that that was a seven millimeter and then up here right here was a christmas tree oh it's in my hand that was a Christmas tree fastener. So now I'll see if this door will come off. I took this piece out right here. 
it's just clipped on. It comes out hard. You got to yank it pretty hard, but it does come off. Set it out of the way. And then I was able to see what I was catching on. Got a little peg here, a little peg here, back over there. And I also took this little triangle piece off up here. It sits in there like that. It just clips in there. And then you have to yank upward on the door. You have to yank on pretty hard. It pops loose. And now the door, I just got to see what I got to unhook to pull it out. Again, I, I, I wish I could do more of this and have you guys see it. But I just got to kind of, you know, work it blind. But I've got a light here. I've got to take this plug off. Uh, most of these should be pretty standard as far as unhooking these. I'm going to have to unhook all the stuff for the doors. Uh, the handle is clear. That's good. Uh, so let's see what I need for the door lock. But I'll, I'll get this exposed. Actually, that should pop right off. And then I'll unhook all everything there. The plugs are all standard plugs. You have a tab to push down on in the center of it. You know, just like so many of them. And uh, except for this one. This one is kind of funky. You have this little deal here that's up like this. You have to turn it down, down like this and pull out at the same time. Otherwise, they're all pretty standard. So I'm going to take this off, this little plastic shield off, and then I'll get in there and see what I can find wrong with this. You see where that yellow piece is right there? That's what I hooked on to with my rod. I looked down through there. I saw that. I hooked onto that with my rod. I pulled up on it. And at the same time, pulled out on the door handle, and that's what opened it up. I don't know if we can get up in there, but uh, if you can see it, but uh, my lock locking mechanism is right there. I don't know if you can see it. I can't even see it. So, uh, but anyway, I've got to get up there. I've got to get that. Uh, got to take the handle off. There's two screws up there to that handle, and. Uh, I don't know if I can get up there and show it to you or not, but I'm going to try to. But if I get those out, get that handle out, and then swap that handle out. There's a hole right here. I pulled this little rubber piece out. And right inside of there is one of the bolts to the new door, uh, the door frame, the door handle. This is the one that's right there. Then there's one on the bottom, and there's one up there on the top. So there's going to be one. I might be able to get to it in through here. The top one, I think I'm going to have to get up inside of there and do it. But I'm going to try to reach this one inside of here. Uh, I can get a light up in there. Yep, I can do that one there. But the other one, I think I'm going to have to get up in there to do. So I can get two of them pretty easily. And uh, I don't, let me see. I don't know if you guys can. Let me try to switch hands here. There. Right in there is that other nut. And then, like I say, the other one's going to be back up in here. I'm going to have to figure that one out the hard way, probably. Okay, I've got the door off. The lock looks to be okay. I'm going to have to try it and see if it's going to work. But it looks to be okay. And uh, here's the new handle versus the old. It's a pretty simple little procedure. This little clip right here. I may have to get a pair of pliers or a screwdriver, but it just, yeah, I'm going to have to get something to pop it off. But just to show you what it is, here's that clip. It just swings around. It stays on there. When you pop it loose, then you can pull this rod out. So let me go ahead and uh, do this off camera. I, I, I wish I had somebody to help me here. I can show you more of this, but... Uh, I'll do this off camera. So the old one was brittle. It broke taking it off. Uh, you know, it's probably due to be changed anyway. I mean, it's been there forever. The other thing on the lock, this thing, it's a little, little catch there that holds the lock in place. So when they punched the lock in, they just broke it all out, took that thing right with it. You can see here, it actually broke this part of the, uh, this mechanism off that hold the lock in. So it's just plastic, but the lock just slides in there and then it catches it.
So now I'm going to try to put some of this stuff back together and see if it works. Okay, there it goes. Everything's put back together. Uh, everything works. Uh, I checked it with the uh, automatic door lock too. Everything works good. So we're back in business. Okay, guys, there you go. That's uh, changing that door latch, uh, outside door lock on that 2007 GMC 1500 Sierra. Boy, that sun is bright. I'm looking right into it. Get over here behind this palm tree. There, that's better. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not all that bad. If you got small hands, it's a whole lot easier. I got big hands and these big paws. It's tough getting up in, inside of there. And, but I got it. And it took me probably about an hour. Not too bad. Everything's put back together. And, uh, now just to make sure I do tour people, I've got, I'm going to make sure I keep that club on there when I'm not driving it. Uh, you know, that way, uh, I know that we're good to go and I, don't, I got less, less chance of somebody stealing it. But if this helps you, go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button, will you? Subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload new content. If you know anybody that has a, uh, a truck in this 2007, 2008, 2009, I think up to 2011, uh, GMC Sierra or, or Chevy Silverado, they're all the same thing. Now, uh, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Uh, if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section. I'll answer as appropriate. And uh, hope this helped you. And uh, if you're brand new to my channel, appreciate you tuning in. Hope this helps. And if you're, if you're an existing subscriber, thanks for tuning back in. It's, it's uh, people like you that tune back in for new videos. Now, you're the kind of, you're the people that make this thing happen. Appreciate you. So until next time, may God bless you and make it a great day.